Oh, what? Offside? Yeah, thanks, ref. Did you see that, Paul? Something up. Come on, something's bothering you, I can tell. Oh, it's just... Come on, champ. I'm not just your dad. I'm your best mate, remember? Well, there's, there's this girl at school. Mm, I was wondering when this was going to happen. Go on. Well, she was, she was smiling at me in class. So I sent her a text message. She hasn't sent one back. Oh, dear. What's her name? Tilly Green. Tilly Green. Is that her? Yeah. Let's have a look. Well, you see what your problem is there, Paul. She's way out your league. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, Tilly's no oil painting, but she's clearly a six going on a seven. Whereas you're more, what, a three, maybe four at a push? <laughs> you know, I mean, we could get your ears pinned back. Hose you down with dermacleanse every morning, but you're still going to be fighting the basics. <laughs> to be honest with you, Paul, mate, I'm not 100% convinced you're straight anyhow. <laughs> so before sticking your head in the oven, try bowling a couple round the other side of the wicket. Think about it. I mean, Elton John married a complete munter. When he switched sides, pulled David Furnish. <laughs> Worth thinking about. in the bag. Seriously, kid, that was spot on. Spot on. Very good. You want to think about... Ah, no, it's not even worth saying that because you're doing it anyway. You was doing it. You was doing it. Bit of a long minute, this one, ain't it? Just trying to think what else to tell you. Uh, sometimes I see fairies. What? You know, Tinkerbell style fellas. Sitting on the enemy bed. Dancing, doing cartwheels. <laughs> they make me these little garlands out of violets and dew. Infused with a scent of cinnamon. Seconds out, round, round and over. Right, knock his bloody head off. Come on, live feed me, people. Bulls are colourblind. Right. Ian Botham played football for Scunthorpe United. Uh-huh. Your son, sir. Cute. How's Mum doing? Sitting up in bed reading Bella. Excellent. Lions can't swim. <laughs> Jesus. Des Lynham hates his own moustache. With you. There's no pepper in Dr Pepper. None? Bollocks. Goats can climb trees. Good. The Sunday papers are a bit of a waste. Yes, yes they are. Well done, Susan. Your newborn son, sir. You've already been introduced, Declan. <laughs> I'm standing in the Abbey of Vesney, sheltering from the rain, much as the pilgrims would have done who gathered in this building 1,100 years ago. The reliquary displayed here, which contains the thigh bone of St. Erasmus, represents nothing less than the first fingers of the morning light of civilization as they pushed back the shadows of the Dark Ages across the plains of Europe. This humble vessel is the work of just one man. And if we climb a little closer, we can just make out his signature. Gisilbertus hoc facit. Gisilbertus made this. The relic it contains, a simple human bone, for the Catholic at least, is sacred beyond all comprehension. It is, of course, absolutely priceless. <laughs>
Ja, da! Oh. Oh, nein! Ist Mama. Oh. Isn't I, Gov? With, with wings and pointy ears and tiny hats. Yes, um, bloody hell, where'd you see yours? Behind a shed, next to the compost. And they show me all this stuff they got, like silks and quinces and robin's eggs. <laughs> Recently, they started making their own bicycles out of cobwebs and sprouts. <laughs> and, they, and they sing songs to me, such beautiful songs, like from lowly mole to lark on high. <laughs> Attend to our sweet lullaby. <laughs> Second off, 12th and final round. Right, just win this stupid fight, will you, son? Do it for the little fellas. Oh. <laughs> Good work, chaps. Five more feet and we should be under the perimeter fence. Well done, keep going. You mind yourself, blood. Yeah, man, you've got all soil on his shoes and all this. Dreadfully sorry, what was I thinking? Yeah, they're like well fresh shoes. <laughs> Harry Grant wears these shoes when he's doing all his acting and stuff. Saying the words and pretending to be things or whatever. You know my cousin, yeah? The one you know? The one I've met and shit, who I know. Her? Yeah. <laughs> she noshed off Carrie Grant at the Lido in Earlsfield. Is it? Is it that she did that? Yeah, she says. But I reckon it wasn't Carrie Grant. Because he, like, wouldn't be at the Lido in Earlsfield. <laughs> He'd be at the Queenstown Road Baths, because it's warmer and they do chips. For sure. Look, are you chaps going to lend a hand? We need to go at least another 14 feet of this escape as I hope in hell of succeeding. Hear me now. We can't do escaping, isn't it? Because I've got all my asthma and shit, and he's got issues around worms. Yes, I've got all issues around the issue of being scared of worms, because they're all wriggly and shit, and they might go up your bum hole and give you disease. <laughs> That's actually true. We did that in science, or biology, or RE, or maths, or something. And anyway, this tunnel's against health and safety. You could get closed down if an inspector saw this. <laughs> God's sake, there's little enough air in here as it is. Don't like your bloody pipes. You can't actually tell us what to do, because you're from the army and we're like Air Force. <laughs> And we never wanted to escape like this anyway. We voted for the one where you jump over the thing with the motorbike and all this. That would have been bear good. I, I'm just asking you to do the decent thing. To think of your fellow prisoners and not about yourselves the entire time. Yeah, but like I said, you can't tell us what to do. Just said that, weren't you listening? You can't tell us what to do because it's like workplace bullying. Like psychological violence, harassment in the workplace. I've got a leaflet about it and everything. Fine, fine. Do what you want. But if we don't escape from here, and the Allies end up losing this war, and Hitler marches into London, well, I hope you can both sleep at night. I had a dream last night where I had a magic hat. Randy. Please. No. No, what have you done, sir? What have you done, sir? It's OK. It's OK. It's just it's a nightmare. Oh, God. Oh, God, it was awful. I mean, your face, your face, it was... Ah! <laughs> John, it's OK, it's OK. You were just having a bad dream. Tell me, what is it? Sorry, nothing. Sorry, I'm done. I'm just being stupid. John? Hey, it's okay, it was just a bad. 
bad dream. Yeah. Who is it, darling? <laughs> what are you doing? John? And there she is. Mm. It's okay, it's just a dream. You're just having a bad dream. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm having a nightmare. Stop it! Pass the phone, you melty faced bitch. What? What's going on, John? It doesn't matter, does it? Something awful will happen any second and I'll wake up. Yeah. Paul, it's John. Yeah, yeah, I, I do know what time it is. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know you're a fat prick and you can stick your job up your ass. Yeah, I couldn't give a shit. Oh, yeah, and your wife's a bastard. See you in the morning when I eventually wake up. What the hell's going on? Oh, you know, just waiting for your flesh to liquefy. Ow! This isn't a nightmare anymore, is it? John! I've lost my job. I've lost my bloody job. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus! Jesus won't help you now! Oh, thank Christ for that. <sighs> Who the devil's pancakes is that, Bill? Your Aunt Hilda, Mr. Stafford. Aunt Hilda? Blasted Bill! Why must I be continually plagued by these aged bitches? <laughs> no doubt she's come round here to kowtow me into attending my mother's funeral or some such poppycock. Get rid of her, would you, Bill? I'll tell her you're indisposed, Chalisa. Well, I was going to suggest you knock her out with chloroform, weight her down with bricks, and then pop her into the canal. But I suppose that might work. <laughs> Very good, sir. Lady Cartwright, I'm afraid your nephew is currently unable to... Veal, that it was necessary for me to strike you just then. I thought you might be about to knock me out with chloroform. A most sensible precaution, Lady Cartwright. Stay where you are, Veal, or I'll cut you. <laughs> now listen to me, Charlie, you ham skulled dunder buttocks. My goddaughter Eustacia wishes to. <laughs> now then, Veal, if it's not too much trouble, I'd like you please to escort my aunt up to the Grand Union. Oh, and on your way back, pick up two girls who do everything. <laughs> Certainly. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of championship boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Those scorecards will be with us very shortly. Uh, we'd like to thank you for your support tonight and invite you to show your appreciation for both fighters. I'm not sure what else I can tell you until we get the... Sometimes mice speak to me. They poke their little noses through a hole in the skirting board and bid me good day. They ask me if I've got the correct time or if I know the way to St. Paul's Cathedral. And they're always immaculately dressed. There was actually this one mouse who actually had a monocle. And he, uh, Davy Collins is the winner. Oh, hi, Tom. There's one of you. Hey, ones. Fred, Freddy, Frederick, Frederick the Great. Frederico, Freddy Fredster, the Frederator, the Great Fredini, Fredalicious, Ready Freddy Go, Fred's Atomic Dustbin, Fred Knobs and Broomsticks, Fred West, Freddy vs. Jason, Freddy Flintstone, Freddy Flintoff, Freddy Mercury, Fred X. Today is the day the Freddy Bears have their picnic. Yeah, all right, now hold on, I'm fishing it. Uh, <laughs> Roger Frederer, yeah. uh, Fred Zeppelin, the, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, Fred and Butter Pudding, yeah, all right, mate. Fred Wolf! Uh, yeah, that's it, cool. I was just wondering if you... Actually, Fred, I'm in a little bit of a rush. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Disappeared in a hot air balloon over the Alps, never to be seen again. A man of God and such enthusiasm. Of course they ended up eating him. Caught it in a Turkish bordello. Of course, he's quite insane now.
empty shots. <laughs> Sounds like you've been having a great time. Oh, it's just paradise. <laughs> it is. It's the perfect honeymoon. <laughs> Can I get you another complimentary drink? Yeah, all right. Thanks very Thank much. You. Thank you. Oh. Hey, we should introduce Fiona to Jim. Should we? She seems really nice. Oh, come on. Jim's all right. You know, I had a bit of a heart-to-heart -heart with him last night. Actually, he's, he's quite sensitive. Plus, I think she is single. Here we are. Oh, <laughs> very Thank good. You. Fiona, have you met Jim? Jim? Jim who? Jim Talon, aloha. <laughs> my ears were burning. Oh, well, that could be because I just tried to stick my head in a trouser press. <laughs> Meant to be a cry for help, but uh, actually, I quite like it, you know. I think it works. <laughs> Jim, have you met Fiona? No, she's never had the pleasure. Aloha, Fiona. Jim Talon. Oh. Fiona Richards. Aloha. <laughs> Are we going to be seeing your wife this evening? Not unless you're having the same hallucinations as me. Hey, brumpt! <laughs> <laughs> no, Fiona, I came on honeymoon on my own because my wife ran off with a DJ at our wedding reception. Yeah, yeah. It was love at first sight, apparently, you know. It's uh, quite romantic when you think about it. Huh? Till you think about it. I know what it's like. I, um, I found my life partner cheating with the next door neighbour. Oh dear, Fiona, that is not nice. You know what's kept me going through the tough times are these words. If you're swimming in shit, it's best to keep your chin up. <laughs> Jim's being very brave, Fiona. Oh, thanks, Phil. It, he's been my rock, this fella. Mind you, some people say men cheating's inevitable. Yeah, who says that? Well, you do, don't you, Phil? What? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> Indeed, last night when we were having that art to art, you know. What was that you said about um, men always needing more than one partner and it's only the, you know, veneer of human morality that uh, places such importance on fidelity? Did you? That's not strictly accurate, though. No. Yeah, yeah, you know, because you also said, um, that's right, subconsciously women actually attach value to a promiscuous mate and it's only, again, the veneer of human morality. That is one of your phrases. Yeah, that makes men feel shameful, forcing them to, you know, have affairs and see prostitutes. That's right, isn't it, Phil? Do you believe that? Well, no. Jim's taking my words just slightly out of context. Oh, yeah. That old chestnut. Hey, don't have a go at him, love. He gets enough grief from this one already, don't you, mate? <laughs> Well, uh, thanks a lot, Phil. Sorry. I'll go and check on her. Hey, you will let me know if I'm getting in the way, won't you, mate? <laughs> I don't want to be a gooseby like her. Oh, tire's gone out. Oi, oi! She won't be needing this then, will she? Oh. <laughs> yes, he drank 12 shots of absinthe, then tried to swim the channel. Hypnotised into believing he was a steam locomotive and very rum of her. What was left was his top hat and his silk scarf. The rest was just dust. for vitality, but eating large amounts can lead to corpulence. And being corpulent can make some everyday tasks difficult, even dangerous. But heart attacks are preventable. Stop! Yes, if you're a little on the larger side, best avoid exercise. Because fatness and fitness don't mix. <laughs> Tom, I thought it was you. How the hell are you? Hey, Mick. Mickey. The Mixter. The Mickmeister. Slick Mick. Micklemus. Mick Mac McMichael. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Spillane. 
The Michelin Man, Tricky Mickey, Mickey Tikitavi, Mick Shaw, The Mickwick Papers, Junior McStart. Ooh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my man. Hey, Mickey. Actually, Tom, it's... Hey, uh, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, Tom, it's Nick. Oh, my God. How embarrassing. Hey, no, look, they're very easy to confuse. Oh, it's no excuse, it's no. Sorry, I, I feel mortified. I'm so sorry, Nick. Nicky. The Nickster. The Nickmeister. Slip Nick. Nicklebus. Nick Knack McNichael. Nicky Mouse. Nicky Spillane. The Nichelin Man. Tricky Nicky. Nicky Tricky Tarvey. Ooh, Nicky, you so fine. You so fine, you blow man. Hey, Nicky. Uh, yeah, Tom. Hey, Nicky. Yo, well, it's good to see you, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Great to catch up. <laughs> Gentlemen, a Red Cross parcel has arrived. You need. What is that noise? No idea, blood. I bet you got an ear infection. I should go clinic or go GP or go health centre or some shit like that. <laughs> Hang on, what do you mean no idea? They're digging a tunnel, you remtard, underneath the hut, remember? <laughs> yeah, and they told us not to tell anyone, and you just have. So who's gay now? <laughs> shit. A tunnel is being dug? Holland, see me here. There is an escape planned, yes? Yes, they want to go to Switzerland or something? It does all skiing and shit and snowboarding there, isn't it? For real. <laughs> I went skiing once in the dry slope at Bracknell with a girl. Cost me eight bob and she never put out. Harsh. You know what I'm saying? Not putting out after eight bob. That's like stealing. Why are you not digging also? Do I look like I've got special needs? Well, they asked us, but we were like, yeah, right, we really want to be underground in the dark, digging out dirt and shit and shit and shit with a teaspoon. And they're not even paying minimum wage, which is actually illegal. They're putting the soil in their trousers and getting rid of it outside. Which is nasty. Earth in your trousers? That's where your balls and everything is. <laughs> That's well skanky bread. What is that? That's the secret signal. We're supposed to knock back to say the coast is clear or something. Give the all clear signal. No way, you massive gay lord. <laughs> what are you going to do? Shoot me in the head with your gun? This isn't Nazi Germany. Yes, it is. <laughs> It actually is. Nazi Germany is, like, literally exactly where we are. Give the all-clear signal, and I am not a gay lord. You've betrayed us to the enemy, you idiots! Yeah, well, you've got a soily ball sack, so you can't talk. Isn't it? <laughs> Isn't it, then? Soily. As far as he's concerned, we're just two arms buyers looking to acquire some of his finely made Kalashnikovs. No reason to suspect otherwise. Here he is. Stay sharp. Vasha Brust, Sovia Puntualnis. Zviesta Vizien, Mr. Drago. I thought I'd find you boys here. So, what on earth are you doing here at this ridiculous hour? Don't tell me. Working. So we've organised a weapons deal with Nikolai Drago. He's going to be here any second. Which sounds like a fantastic piece of work, Andrew. But work which nonetheless can take place between the hours of nine and five. <laughs> and not at 2.30 in the morning. Nikolai Drago can wait until tomorrow. That's just the point. He can't. He's leaving the country tonight. Here he is. Quick! I must have known it was a setup. I should have seen this coming. Well, that's what happens when you work late, Andrew. Mistakes get made. <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm your boss. Now keep your heads down. Wow, good shot, sir. See you in the morning. I'll get the croissants. <laughs> Woo! Hello? Hello? Ah, right, well, I don't know if you've heard the news, but uh, Henrietta still pool, eh? So I'm going to be working as your assistant on your next book. My name's Zachary, I'm from the Employment Agency. I thought you might blink or something to acknowledge that. <laughs> Lovely. Manners cost nothing, do they? Um, now, before we get started, I have got a teeny confession to make. I have got your book, I just haven't got round to reading it. Looked a bit minimal to be honest, you know. <laughs> the idea of you lying there, locked up in your own thoughts, no thank you. <laughs> Still, some people liked it, didn't they? No accounting for taste, is there? 
We might as well get started, eh? Now, if I've understood this right, I basically go through the alphabet and you blink at the appropriate letter. OK. <laughs> so, um, A, B, C, D, E, V, W, X, Y, Z. Oh, is it blink? Why didn't you blink? Oh, you can't tell me, can you? Um, <laughs> why didn't you blink? A, B, oh, B, right. Uh, let me just find the pen. Oh, right. B, W, X, Y, brilliant. Y. <laughs> See, yeah, you didn't blink because you weren't ready. Are you ready now? You are! <laughs> right. Ooh. It's quite tiring, this writing lark, isn't it? Eh? Mind you, better than packing pork pies, which is what I was doing yesterday. Right then, <laughs> onwards and upwards. Chapter one. A. B. <laughs> v. W. Oh, OK. <laughs> Oh dear, that's not much of a first line, is it? Let's <laughs> take that up, start again, eh? Don't you worry, I'm going to stay by your side day after day until this book is signed, sealed and delivered. Now then, A, B, C. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my hormones are going nuts. I mean, it was totally my fault. Really. Should we try again? Yeah, go on. And the first one is Aaron. Aaron. The Aaronator. Keep your hair on, Aaron. Hair on a G string. Erroneous Bosch. Yeah, let's go with Aaron. <laughs> 